Yes guys and welcome to reacting to my Premier League predictions. This is the first ever time I have done a Premier League prediction for a season and then I'm now reacting to what I predicted nine months ago or maybe even over ten months ago. So what we're going to do, we're going to do it bottom to top, starting with the bottom and going who I predicted, who came in that position and then the difference to where I predicted to where they actually came and it's you want to get as low points as possible but I'll explain as we go so starting with who I thought were going to come bottom which was Luton I thought Luton had absolutely no chance but it turns out they were actually the best of a bad bunch they were the best of the relegated teams or the best of the promoted teams that all went straight back down so I I predict them to go down which I think was easy although it was close but anyway I have got a plus two because Sheffield United come bottom so yes I uh, I got that wrong not hard not easy either but yeah so I put Luton to come bottom next is Sheffield United I thought they'd come second to bottom they actually came bottom so that's only a one point we don't mind that they finished one place below where I thought they were going to they were the worst team I think the Premier League other than that Derby team I think it was Derby uh they're probably the worst Premier League team to ever have been in the Premier League they conceded the most goals that's for sure which is embarrassing but anyway next the last team I had to get relegated I fought Everton they were playing awful football at the end they avoided relegation on the last day last year I thought this is the year Arsenal will be the only team to have existed in the top flight football no it wasn't although they, they gave it a good old go by yeah well, financial fair play they were very much dicey with getting points reductions over and over and fighting it but it, it was irrelevant they, they they were safe they're quite comfortably safe in the end they played quite good football one of the most clean sheets I think their back line was rock solid you got to give it to them fair play but that gave me three points uh coming on to teams that I thought were all going to be safe now all of them were safe except one and that one obviously hasn't already been said and unfortunately is quite Hi, I thought they were going to do good. They didn't, but anyway. So, next I had Palace. Now, I had the Roy Hodgson Palace. I didn't think they were going to do well, and they were stinking. And they did stink for a long time. However, the new manager, Bounce, he was outrageous. He had the team playing incredibly. They hit a great run of form, and they just climbed the table very quickly. Um, That was one I got massively wrong. That and another team were my biggest ones I got wrong. I got them seven places out, which is... Bad. Like, that's quite difficult. Reasonably, unless you get like a Leicester when they won the title. No one probably had them to win a title, so they probably have a mid-table. Until you get like a really crazy one, that is quite hard to mess up that badly, but I did. Uh, so I got them seven out, which means that'll be seven points going in my pocket, which you don't want, by the way. You want as low points as possible. Um, anyway, going on to Bournemouth. Yet again, they just did a better season. I thought they hadn't strengthened the squad massively. But they just played good football. They were consistent. I mean, Solanke, uh, just the whole team just played very well. Like, you got to put respect in Bournemouth's name. They did well. They did well. Fair play. That got me three points. Not too bad. The, the middle of the table is arguably the hardest where you're going to drop and pick up quite a few. The top six and the bottom sort of five should be reasonably easy. This is where you get the plus twos and the plus threes. Forest, yet again, I thought they were going to do well. They had an absolute howler. Injuries, uh, yet again, financial fair play issues point reductions but anyway that gave me a minus three I don't think there's too much to talk about everyone knows Forrest had a bit of a stinker that year this year I then had West Ham because yet again they're David Moyes they haven't really I, I know they started to make improvements but I don't think it was anything crazy good about the team uh, they just lost Declan Rice I thought that was going to hit them a little harder than it did it didn't I mean it did obviously affect them but not massively um and yeah four points out not a massive issue but fair play to them uh, we've now come on to the second joint worst prediction I made, Burnley. I had Burnley, I think, 12th, which is mental. Uh, I do like, you know, I, I have watched Spencer FC's Premier League prediction. He put Burnley quite high up, which is quite a weird coincidence. I feel like you've got to predict one of the teams to do well. Like, because if not, just putting all three to get relegated is just slightly depressing, isn't it? So I thought, I'm going to back Burnley. Under Vincent Company in the championship, they cooked, they played great football. I thought, bring that into the Prem, you'll be fine. No, wrong, should have, like, Luton had the right idea. Just defend, 
play good football, but sit, not sit back, sit back, not like, you know, Sean Dyche Everton football, but literally just solidify, do the thing you can do well, don't try and outplay teams that have better players than you, do you know what I mean? And he just kept trying that and it just did not work. But yeah, so seven positions out, I had them 12th, they got relegated, very awkward. Um, I then had Fulham, who I predicted two places higher than where they finished. Um, I obviously, yeah, again, you can't predict some of the, the sales, but actually some of the signings they made sort of leveled out a little bit. But yeah, only a two, two out. Yeah, again, I'm not too fussed about that. Those sort of ones, who knows? You roll a dice, you, you get their position, you know what I mean? Um, we then come across to Brentford, who absolutely had a stinker this year. Now, I, you know, last year they had a great year. Losing Ivan Tony was obviously massive. I don't know if at that time it was obvious, but I, f I feel like I probably did know that and I just somehow thought they'd do better. No, wrong, they didn't. But anyway, we then have Brighton. I only got them two positions out, which I think it's not a drastic in isolation, but I had them getting European, European football. Is that eighth? I think it's eighth. Oh no, I had them ninth. I had them ninth, sorry, I had them ninth. Um, yeah, I didn't think they were going to have as good season. I did think there was going to be a fall off. Obviously, they, they fell off quite a lot at the end of the season. They really started to just ke keep losing games. Like, they just weren't very solid. Um, they come a bit unstuck. Everyone started to realise how they could just play and beat Brighton. They just sort of started to tumble. But only two out, yet again, roll of dice, you get their position. Uh, now, this is, yet again, <laughs> one of the two last absolute sort of stinkers I had. I thought Liverpool were going to fall off. I thought this was going to be the year. They, they just sold their entire midfield and brought a whole new midfield in. And, for the record, during the Premier League, they had multiple injuries that you thought really should have stunted their season. Fair play to Klopp, fair play to the team. The, I think the farewell Klopp leaving definitely boosted it. I don't, if it, genuinely don't think if he left... They would have done as well. Genuinely don't. I think if he was like, yeah, I'm here for another two, three years, they probably would have backed off a little bit, taken the season a bit more relaxed and not have just gone for every game as hard as they did. Probably a bit of an outrageous thing to say. Uh, but I had them seventh, eighth. Eighth's a bit crazy. I just, I wanted to try and predict one of the top sort of six to have a really bad season. And one did. It just wasn't Liverpool. I mean, yeah, again, we'll get into that shortly. Um, but yeah, I had Liverpool sick. That was massively wrong. They were title challenges for majority of the season, even leading it for a period of it. Uh, and they conferred, obviously, I put them seventh, uh, which is a plus five. I have to hold that. Then we got Spurs. So I predicted them sixth. I, I predicted them to get uh, Europa League. They actually got Europa League. No, Conference League. I put them to get Conference League and they got Europa League. So they did slightly better than I thought they would. Uh, and... James Madison effect at the start and then the massive fall off they had at the end. They then bottled top four. So, you know, the game's the game. They almost overachieved and then sort of mellowed out. And I thought they'd underachieve and then they mellowed out. So we sort of met in the middle, but I got them two out. Fair enough. They got Europa League. I put them in have Conference League. Close enough. Um, I then put Villa. I knew Villa were going to have a good season. I didn't know they were going to get Champions League football, but I knew they were going to have a good season. I put them to get Europa League. They got Champions League. Fair play. Only a two. I don't mind that. A couple of plus twos here. A couple of minus twos coming up. These four could have gone in any order. Bosh, this is what I got. We then come across to Newcastle. Yet again, I knew they wouldn't get top four. One having to play top four. They obviously overachieved the season before. They didn't have the squad depth and they got injuries throughout the season. Uh, so yeah, they actually come seventh. No, they come seventh. And I put them to come fifth. Yeah, there we go. So they have got potentially Conference League unless United win the FA Cup. So they might still get European football, just not the European football I thought they were going to get. I knew they were going to have a fall off. Didn't know it was going to be this drastic because they they had the back line last year and I thought that was going to be the same for this year, which is why I had them finish quite high. Wrong. Anyway, injuries, fair play. You know, you, you never know what's going to happen next season, but they also couldn't recruit because of financial fair play issues. But yeah, uh, I then had Chelsea. I thought Chelsea were going to be the rogue team that they, I don't know where they finished the year before, 8th or 10th. And I thought they have the squad, they've got Poch. This is going to be their year. And to be fair to them, a lot of the time, I look like a laughing stock. They were like 10th and 11th. And I was like, oh my God, I've got this severely wrong. And then the last like 10 weeks, Poch just got it together. And they just started winning game after game after game. Draw, win, draw, win, win. A couple of losses here and there to actual like big teams like Arsenal. Um, but sacked. So that was a, a, a mutual apparently, mutual consent. They both were like, 
let's depart ways. So I don't know why that is. Maybe they've got a manager lined up and he thought, that's fine, I sort of want to go. I don't like this flack anymore. I don't like the vibe around the stadium. But anyway, I had them fourth. They actually come sixth. Not massively wrong. Not going to cry about it. Now, the last one, obviously, you know, I've not said a certain team yet that I thought were going to somehow have a good season. Manchester United. I think everyone knew after like the first five, maybe ten weeks, United were not going to have a good season. And they definitely didn't. They come eighth. Eighth. Is that, that is eighth, right? It's eighth. Eighth! Potentially no European football unless they win the FA Cup. And I had them third. Like, it's tragic, but it is what it is, boys. I mean, they just... Like, we don't need to talk about it. We all know United have a massive injury issue. Uh, Ten Hag, questionable managing. The team just looks shambolic. Like, other than Garnacho, Menu. Martinez, someone else, Dalot maybe, uh, the team's, are, oh, and Hoyland, Hoyland, uh, the team's just shambles, man, you, you literally wouldn't want any of those players, like, get rid of all of them, but, uh, yeah, I had United conferred, that is an annoyingly five points I've lost in the bag right at the end there, um, I was doing quite well till then, so I was at, I was at a decent point tally, arguably, for the first season doing it, a decent point tally, and then it just went, you know, down to 20 a little bit, uh, then we come to the top two, who did I predict to win the league, and who did I predict to come second, I'm an Arsenal fan, was I biased, no, unfortunately not, I did think Man City would win the league again, I actually, although I put Arsenal second, I think even at that time, I did not predict Arsenal to have such a good season, I didn't know we were going to go almost back to back, being the title challengers and contenders. Yes, we had it in our hands at one point. So did City though and so did Liverpool. I'm not hearing all... I mean, I don't think anyone's saying Arsenal bought the league, but I just don't want to hear like, oh, Arsenal, every time they have it, then they, they throw it away. But then Liverpool had it for ages and threw it away and City had it for a little bit and then lost a couple of games. Like, every team has or is in the position to win the title throughout a 38-game week, do you know, a 38-game season. But yes, I had Arsenal second and I had City first. So I got zero points and zero points. Arguably the two easiest ones to try and predict. Man City at the top and Arsenal second are the two easy ones. The rest of them, if you've got any of them right, then it's impressive. I didn't. I got none of them right. <laughs> but I got quite a lot. Like, plus twos and plus threes, I think, are quite good. Because, really, that could be goal difference. That could be one point difference. They're pretty damn close. But, yes, boys, that is reacting to my Premier League predictions. Looking back at it, so I got 60 points in total, which I think is reasonably respectable. That basically means I got 60 positions out, which is quite a lot when you say it like that. But... When I'm looking through these, like Luton, Sheffield United, there's a plus one, plus twos. In the middle of the pack, we've got plus twos. We do have the, the six of Brentford and the seven of Burnley and the seven of Palace and the five of Liverpool and the five of United. Like, if I just didn't do those ones, those really bad ones, I probably could have done quite good. I'm looking forward to doing the next season, boys. I hope you've enjoyed this style of video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.